Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we have a Ghost of Antietam event for you. The first round here is Boulevard Heights Camp. You're seeing an overview of that map right now, followed up by our second map, which is the Schoolhouse Ridge. Haven't really seen these maps in a while, so it'll be great to watch. Thank you to our Patreon members for the support. If you'd like to support, go to link in the description where you get a live stream of all the broadcasts we do. You can advertise your regiment on the bottom of our videos and get raw gameplay footage of all the events we do with no commentary and UI. So if you hate me talking and just want to watch the gameplay, Go to the Patreon. We also got merch and Discord in the description. So, our teams for today on the Confederate side, you got Archer's Brigade, 7th South Carolina, 7th Louisiana, 33rd Virginia, 20th Georgia, 4th Georgia, and the 15th Georgia. Where is on the Union side? You got 5th Corps, 2nd United States Sharpshooters, Midwest Brigade, 3rd United States Horse Artillery, 1st Ohio, and 4th New Jersey. Our server popped today is 240 numbers are very much balanced both sides having around 10 to 15 artillerymen infantry wise it's about dead even in numbers which is great to see so our frontline reporters today for the union perspective on the top right uh, you have zach from the midwest brigade on the top left you have kramer from the 7th louisiana very appreciative both of them it's because we can see their view on the ground which is always nice to see because we always see what we see in the sky but never on the ground so Boulevard Heights Camp, point of contention is located here. Union, generally form a defensive line as they are right now. You can't really defend in the open, so they're using the tents as cover here. And then Union kind of holding up on this side of the map because that's where their artillery is. The artillery looks like they're going to build a stone wall. Uh, they were testing some stuff before the round started um, that I was a part of, which was, it was very funny. So, CSA. Obviously, the biggest thing is they just need to get somewhere back here in the Union lines. Just deal a lot of damage. It doesn't matter where they go, but they just need to group up and do big things. As any attacking team does, you know, just the general, just take ground strategy. So, uh, you got the 65th Illinois with Snow Cactus. You got the uh, first Maryland there. Third U.S. Horse Artillery. Looks like they're moving the guns there. That, you got 8th Connecticut up here. And Midwest Brigade is holding back here. So, I mean, you can kind of see what they're viewing up top right now. They got some nice stuff Uh Before the fighting, you hear some shots, but CSA artillery? I thought there was a lot on it. I knew the guns are over here, but wait, did they? There's 10 guys on CSA artillery, but where are the? Oh, okay. I know what they're doing. So... CSA looks like they're going to try to push up this direction. The CSA artillery men are probably going to take these guns and start using them. Um, yeah, look at that. You have one artillery guy right there. And CSA aggression is pushing forward. You got 20th Georgia here to the left. 14th Tennessee from Arches Brigade. You got the rest of the CSA kind of holding back right now. 7th LA here. 5th Alabama. Looks like 14th Indiana from V Corps switched over to balance. So appreciative of them to do that. Fourth Georgia to their left. On the really far left side, you got the first LEB, first South Carolina, Ors Rifles, and 19th Georgia kind of pushing up that general direction. So are these the artillerymen? Yep, there they go. CSA artillery. Because normally the CSA artillery position, I, who is. 15th Georgia, I don't know what you're doing. And you're not hitting anything from back here. Those are just hard shots. But um, CSA artillery is really good. I mean, I'm really bad. <laughs> really bad spot here. I mean, you're shooting at the crest of a hill. So the only chance you're going to do damage is if your fuse is perfectly timed. But most of the time, your shot's going to go really short or really far. You have to set that fuse perfectly, and then it can be a hard shot. This CSA artillery position is definitely a lot better, so... I appreciate them doing that rather than the Just guns at the bottom of the hill. It's like 7th LA is pushed up to the left side here, kind of using this death light here as cover. Looks like they're running up, taking some volleys, and then running back down. So We'll see how CSA wants to go at this. Remember, they don't have a Steam chat, so it's whatever they deem is... Necessary. What the heck? 
guy in the gun. <laughs> we rotate it backwards. So, the 4th New Jersey is really pushed up against the 20th Georgia here. It is. So even though it looks like 4th New Jersey kind of slaughtered these guys, Union is down on tickets right now. And so the Union line is actually pretty more forward than what we would traditionally see. Like 8th Connecticut's holding really far up here. Engage as a son of Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should find reason. I mean, they're really far forward. It's just kind of a risky game. Just because this map can go in CSA's favor very quickly. And you don't want to risk taking too many tickets. So, fourth New Jersey is going to keep coming up the side. At least some of them are. So... CSA not really making a aggressive motion. I think the the general thing that I see in at least Ghost of Antietam is that they start off pretty much like this regardless of the map. There'll just be a lot of shooting for a while and then the charges happen towards the end. Because I remember watching Roulette Lane a few weeks ago and CSA just sat back and shot the whole time, which I've never seen CSA do before, so... So, 19 Georgia going a little further forward. I mean, really, the only action that's happening is on right there, this, right there this side here. As the Union oh, is on, using the caissons. Yeah, right. there they go. To the south, to the south. Alright, right here, right here, right here. So, Union kind of doing uh, a little... What is that flag doing back there? It, like, was... Start waving the flag again, please. Like that, that flag. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> Wait, does it do the same if I go up close to it? Yeah, holy crap. That's a festive flag, the, the Louisiana flag. I think it's the first Louisiana, so. That's, <laughs> that's something you don't normally see. So, I mean, despite the slow start, 10 minutes into the round, 7 minutes since they started, because they started at that 42-minute mark. The Union's almost down half a morale stage, and for this amount of players, it's a little quick. Obviously, pace for CSA does need to quicken up, because I like saying every 10 minutes, you got to get your the defenders down a morale stage. That should be a goal. And obviously, when you start not at the 45, but at the 42 minute mark, it's going to make it difficult to knock your opponent down. Especially when you play more of a passive style, which, as we've seen with these higher pop servers, it gets harder and harder to knock your opponents down. So, you got some Union starting to shift on this right side here, second US Sharps. Looks like they're engaging the CSA on the right. I do hear, yep. Some 8th Connecticut Cavalry is going that way, so. On this line, 8th Company, break your Yeah, I haven't really seen the CSA guns too much in action. I mean, where are they at? They're rolling them this way. Interesting. We can push. We're going to push. We're going to get our reloads and we're going to push. Like it. We can take the left. Are you pushing Love it. Down the, uh, the, the Not the middle. No, you see, you see that Artillery for CSA. I don't know where that hit. It didn't overshoot, but it didn't hit there. Oh, it hit the tent, maybe, and didn't go through. Maybe it did. I don't know. I wasn't looking. So it looks like CSA starting to move. 14th Tennessee going that way. Get ready to get that flag back moving. Shoot at him. Go, keep going, team. Go, go, flash, go, seven, go, go, take it, take it, shoot in their backs. Move! Make your reloads, advance, make your reloads. Go! 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 Go!
getting B and back quickly, falling back quickly. Tickets going down. Saving that flag, but. Yeah, I love this. I love the aggression from TSA. <laughs> Let's fucking go. CSA swarming and they're going to continue pushing in here. I need to switch to CSA so that message doesn't keep showing up on the screen. Let me quickly do that. Would you like violence? Would you like violence? So, oh my goodness, speaking of that case on wall. Get that flag, get that flag. This is the most extensive case on wall I've seen. I don't even know how the fuck to get in there. How do you even get in here? Point is going in CSA's favor. Normally I see a case on wall go along this side here, maybe right there where it is, but I haven't seen one like this. I am fucking stuck. I'm stuck now. Uh oh. Uh oh. I am literally stuck. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no. I'm just out there. Scrabby gets out, so. Great push from CSA. Union's almost going to hit engage. It looks like CSA on their right is pushing a little further forward. Are you stuck here? No, I'm fine, sir. I find that okay, perfect you look like you're stuck in the middle of the can oh. on the screen. No, no, no. I'm really good. Really good. So we'll see what happens. Going to the far left. The Union spawns really far back, remember. So they're going to be inching their way up. You do have 19th Georgia here. Some guy's trying to save the flag, but uh, some CSA just kind of harassing Union. I don't know if we want to call them Rambos out in the uh, camp. I don't know if they're Rambos or not, but disjointed might be the better word for it. 15th Georgia's pushing up here. They're just kind of harassing them on the side, and Union's kind of clumped up and we'll see where these spawns go if they return to their original position that they were or if they're going to go up and around uh, be around the point union does hit engage 15 minutes into the round great push from csa some of these CSA groups moving down, they don't have a flag, so we'll see. Oh no, this, these guys are gonna catch them on the side. They were they were having lunch or something. Take cover, get behind cover, boys. Behind cover. To the left. To the left. Get oh, Hard durables out. Hold, 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 hold. Oh, I mean, if I were those rebels, I would have charged in there because Union took a little too long to kind of react to that whole situation. So, CSA holding a little further back on the left side. They still kind of pushed a little further forward, but CSA inching their way. And now, normally the Union does a case on wall kind of here so that they can shoot the CSA coming down here, but they don't really have that here. They have some in the back uh, that aren't movable that they're using, and they're also using these uh, baskets as cover. I don't know if they can block bullets. Yeah, but we need help on the. Yeah, Cav and D gotta figure something out on over there. We can't load on. All right. But CSA is cooking with that pace right now, so yeah, very good on their part. One, two CSA guys going forward. One turns around. The other goes around. Mr. Kramer. Oh, the other guy dies next to him, and looks like he's going to make it back. So, CSA is going to have to charge again. That Union group is pushing down this right, right side, which I find fascinating. I mean, it will help because the csa guys here if they want to push up here they'll be hit from the side granted it's not a whole lot of people but however if csa does decide to push this way that could be a uh, huge chance for using to lose a lot of tickets their enemy direct south direct south that's enemy 
Artillery hit him. Rip. How many are still alive? Oh, a good chunk are. Actually, that right, get more of it. We built it for a reason. No, Let's I could shoot you if you don't like this. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Threatening to team kill your own teammates for not liking the case on the wall. Very good. Is this loading? I don't think it's loading. I don't know if it shows though. Oh, CSA charging right as 8th Connecticut Cav goes out. So, the great part about a case on wall is as defenders you can use it, right? And it's great, but if you're the attacking team you roll up like this and kind of overwhelm the position, it's now to your advantage in a sense because you can use it as cover. 8th Connecticut Cav kind of returning. I don't know if it's on point. That's I think that's the biggest thing. CSA hit engage. Looks like they're kind of still harassing the Union on the far side, but Union's holding this. Some CSA get into the pocket. 20th Georgia here. Union line to push him out, charging in. Artillery hitting. And Union's going to be halfway through engaged here. But CSA getting those flags out. Union holding. I really do wonder if this case on wall uh, on the outside of it is on point or not. And the third USHA looks like they've got off artillery. Yeah, Union only having four guys on there now. Looks like they're just perusing around the side going to hit for some damage. So you got these CSA groups harassing this Union force here. And holy crap, that Union group pushed all the way to the end. This is a not great decision. I mean, all those guys just died, and for what? They didn't gain any ground. It's not like Union was going to hold that ground. I mean, we got a couple kills, but they lost a lot of skirmishing and auto-line tickets. So Union kind of pushing forward, retaking these positions in a kind of bold move. And this is real. I I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen Union try to retake these positions once they lose them. And again, great chance for CSA to kind of deal some ticket loss on Union. I mean, if are those hitting? No, it just looks like it hit the tent or exploded in front of it. I mean, this can be a great chance for CSA to deal a good amount of damage to you. And it looks like they're going to try to flank around a wall here, 20th Georgia. So, Union starting to fall back. Fourth New Jersey still holding. Now they're falling back. So Union kind of pushed forward. Now they're falling back, and a couple of the guys will pay the price for not retreating right away. And Union's almost about to hit taking losses. So. Otherwise, it'll be too far. What the heck? What the heck? He's like sitting on somebody when he died. <laughs> that's a, that's something. <laughs> so. CSA starting to inch their way down the earthworks here and Union trying to hit him on the side I mean I don't know if this is really worth it because the purpose of doing this is to get some form of ticket lead most likely 
deal some ticket loss, but I don't I don't know how effective it is. It's just a little risky putting yourself out that far. It's not like CSA can charge in at you, but they can hit you from both sides assuming they see you, which I don't know if they do. But Union's going to hit taking losses any second now. And that Union group back there looks like they're shifting up the hill. And these CSA guys are going to try to hit them from behind. I mean, these guys are just harassing the crap out of <laughs> these Union guys here. Okay, let's go. Up oh, one. That was a good volley. Granted, that should have been a good volley, so. Got a good amount there. You're going great, Forrest. Keep it up. They move back northeast on k I mean, this is what Union's looking at from these earthworks up front. It's kind of popping in and out of cover here. Taking shots. I mean, look at that. It's just a hard angle. Very hard. So Union falling back in that center. And the Union team is together around that point. Almost 20 minutes on that clock. Yep, yep, yep. They're going to go in and like, yep, going in right at 20. So you still got a minute. So you heard it there. All right, I'm back. One minute left until the CSA decide to charge in here. At least on the right side. If it's communicated on the left, that's a different question. That's the thing with the, kind of these two, this uh, segmented battlefield. CSA is really pushing two sides. They can't really see what's going on on the other side. So. They need to push now if they're gonna do it. So let's see if the CSA on the left go forward. Obviously, they can't communicate in chat. Here they go. This is a very spread out charge. And you can see uh, Seventh LA's charging on the top left. This is a pretty sad charge from CSA. A half charge. CSA slamming into the tent line right now. And I mean, they're getting in there right now. Union going down on tickets. CSA is going to hit taking losses. Doesn't really mean a whole lot. Look, they fell into our trap. Look at them. They're like flies. Trap card. Yeah, I dare you to climb over. I dare you to climb you over. Union are holding on this side, but if the CSA moved in, they could win that. But granted, I, CSA doesn't really need to win the point right now. What happens to move is the guy stabbing you on your right? Are you evolving? I'm just, he, was try, he was trying to stab They do not need to win because they don't want a cap point and force a counterattack because at the pace CSA going, it's, it's going good. So, 18, 45 on that clock. Confederates are taking losses. Union's up by half a stage. I killed that dumb some bitch. <laughs> Going very well for them. Very well. It's kind of funny. You can just see the heads of everybody sticking over these. Ooh. Oh, not a explode? That looked like just dirt shot up. Fascinating. So CSA is going to reform. They got some time. They're going to push Union into breaking next charge. Damn, that, was that was a good charge, oh, Hell yeah. Yeah, bring it right. Like, get it to the center. 
Oh, we're crashing. Got in the center. First oh, LAB, rally over here. First LAB, rally over here. Over here, over here, boys. Over so it's only a matter of time till we see when they charge. I think that's going to be the mind? biggest thing. Uh, if I were them, I mean, it'll probably be in three minutes. That should be plenty of time for them to form up and communicate a plan between both sides. It's only about a 30 second run from one side of the tent line to the other. And CSAR rolling a gun. Uh, Pointed down there. Got artillery on the other side. Looks like they're aiming. Are they going to fire? Oh, please. Oh, no, he's still aiming. The arms race. Uh oh. It will go through the tents, by the way. I only got one that canister. It's kind of surprising. Red's up to y'all. I'm not ready. Yeah, that's up to y'all. But just send your nether, nether less, you know? Enter way. Send your. What are we going? What are we going? 15? 15 minutes, we got a minute 45 uh, till TSA charge. Where are they at? I mean, Union are holding a good chunk of guys back, but they're close enough to get into the action. I know, but 14 Jersey wants to just be stubborn on that point, and you can't abandon them. Oh, just push up. Just push up, guys. Just push up. Push up, boys. Gravity sounds defeated. I mean, Union situation right now is not great. Yeah, they do have a couple of Rambos. I will say, um... I forgot. Hey, CSA's charging. I'm pushing up, trying to get a better spot. 20 Georgia is. Forty-five seconds. Yeah, I, I was gonna say just union position's really bad. What they should be doing is, if we're thinking theory, why are we charging here? Retreat! Run back! Go back, Rick. Go back home to Richmond. I mean, union. I mean, that's considering they're gonna charge in thirty seconds. Yeah, it's definitely gonna deplete them a little bit, but these guys are gonna die in skirmishing on a line. That's what the union does not need. Bring back. So 14 seconds. So if, if we're thinking strategy-wise, Union should be turtling. Their spawn's really far back, but I, I don't think they're going to do that. They aren't doing that. So CSA, if they win the point right here, they can just win the game. So CSA starting to push up on this side. You also got the rest of CSA pulling up over here, but... Kill these, these fucking cannons. CSA starting to win on the bottom side. That's no surprise. The big thing is here. Point still in Union's favor. Union hits breaking. Point teetering. You guys killed him. Thank you so much. Save me, Point going in CSA's favor. Some engagement happening. If we look, you they got a union group or two back here that could rush up and probably save the union. I mean, a lot of CSA holding back right now. And here they come. No, we're breaking. We're breaking. We gotta go. Keep going, boys. Press T, get to the point. Die with honor. Point should prob maybe go back in Union's favor. I mean, CSA's got two flags up here with the wave moving in. CSA still holding, using that case on the wall. Union starting to win ground here on the point. But it looks like this might be on point, and CSA is capping. If I were to do a case on wall, I would have the wall be far enough to where CSA can't cap from it. Because then it forces them to go over it. I don't know how much that would really change things, but... Some Union are holding back. Those are just flag respawns. A lot of Union just scattering to get over here. More CSA pulling in, and I think this is going to be the round. Let's 
So the case on wall, again being used for CSA's favor on this map. Really well done for CSA. Obviously the beginning pace is slow and that's fair, but they, they cooked with that pace for the rest of the game. And they got a very good win here on Boulevard Heights camp. That just played the bat black felt uh, new. Felt a lot smoother. Maybe it's just a nicer PC. But anyways, really well done uh, from CSA. As I, as I just said, the pace was very much there, especially towards the end of the round. I, I really, it's just a hard map for Union. Really, Union best strategy is to put that case on a wall far enough so that it's not on point. Because we, what we saw at the end is CSA used the point, or the, the case on the wall, to cap that point. And you can't have that as Union. You don't want to turn something that's supposed to help you uh, into something that can help your opponent. But really all done from CSA. It's just a hard map for Union. Um, and with that all being said, we will see you soon for round number two. Alrighty, here we are with round number two. We're up to 260 now. That probably grew over last round. It's a nine-man imbalance initially if we look at artillery, though. Union having 18... 27 on artillery. Whereas Confederates only have nine. Yikes. That's all I'm going to say. Confederate artillery you got some guns located here. They got a pretty nice spot. Um see everything over the map it's it's a thing of beauty it's just so beautiful and then you also got csa artillery all the way over here and what they're going to do pretty much nothing um union artillery is all the way up here which they're starting to roll the guns over top right now 27 guys is a lot a lot of dudes are already dead which i don't know how that happened but regardless Anyways, looks like we do have some engagements on this right side. Union, similar to last round, pushing a little far forward. You got 1st Maryland there. You got 8th Connecticut to their left. at CSA. I love it. They're charging. Are we surprised? 14th Tennessee in the front. Are they being backed up? Oh, no. Really unfortunate because when the Union is going to push themselves so far forward, you got to take advantage. But... General strategy for CSA is either to push that left side, get around the Union, push down the road, or push down the right side, which is what they're going to be successfully doing here. They won't really have an effective play over there because what? Because uh, they're sending a lot of guys over here. Again, it's it's what you have seven. They lower the amount of guys. Yeah, they only have twenty on it now. That's why we saw, but actually. The numbers balance are perfect um, in terms of infantry. Union just has 10 more guys on artillery than CSA does, which is wild. You have a couple of Union guys going over to the harass the CSA artillery. CSA is starting to inch their way up into the wood line here. Rip that man. And first Maryland coffin kills pushing way up. I don't know if he knows that there's only a couple guys here, but we're gonna get a couple good kills here. They got more coming. They got more coming with loads. And the only reason why this Union hold is going so well because a lot of CSA is pushing up this right side here, and they've taken that corner. So I'm actually starting to push down the lane right now. Uh, 20th Georgia is. 65th Illinois seem to be the only group back here. Looks like they're falling back. There, there's a rebel just uh, like standing behind us. So much. Come fuck out of here, So we'll see if they cap point or not. This uh, it could be a long one. Could be a short match. We'll see. So Union already down by uh, a couple of tickets. Oh, 
And CSA acts just kind of probing right now again, similar to what we saw last round, slow kind of at the start, but we'll see where and when they pick it up. Fourth New Jersey Midwest Brigade holding really far back here, taking shots from a distance, just trying to avoid the ticket loss here. So. We'll, we'll see what happens. This is probably like the most and least aggressive I've seen Union be on this map just with guys so f pushed up so far in the woods and a lot sitting back. Is Union counter battering from here? Yeah, I mean, they might be. So, yes, he's capping point. Great idea. Uh, the pace is slow. Actually, are they moving through point or are they capping? Capping is perfectly fine here. Those guys are aiming up top for a while, and they overshot. No, it looks like they're not kind I mean, it's not a bad idea to cap. It's going to force the Union out of the woods. Um, but then again, who knows what will happen. Union pushing up into the little creek here. Actually, they're charging here. It sounds like an alarm clock with the amount of times he's saying brace. And CSA is going to lose that. No surprise there. And the unfortunate thing is CSA can't really... Uh, they're not taking advantage of it. They don't see that a lot of Union left the woods. They're just kind of sitting back and shooting. And the 7th LA is just kind of sitting on about here right now. Just kind of keeping this right side secure. And again, a lot of the Union disappeared from the woods and CSA is not going down. And USA looks like they're just completely out of the woods right now. Some CSA starting to push in there right now. 19th Georgia for South Carolina. More Confederates moving down left 14. Oh, pulling back. Yeah, CSA starting to finally move up into that woods. And the Union group here has fallen back out of the wood line into the creek. I mean, that's real good cover right there. So we'll see how long it takes uh, for them to decide to push forward. And CSA still just kind of being very slow. Looks like 4th New Jersey and Midwest Brigade pushed up this side. Sergeant, do you want us to stand for reloading or kneeling? Yes, stand for reloading. Right up lake, north. And so it's only a matter of time before CSA will charge up. They're trying to get to the edge of that wood line. Hey, Fritz. All right, gentlemen, run it up on me beyond this line one up here. So, 
And they're hopping up out of that little creek there, starting to take some fire at CSA. Looking at the other side of the map, what is this Union Regiment doing here? This is not very smart. You're charging into a group that way outnumbers you. And you're just going to get slaughtered and cause your team to lose a lot of tickets. Which is what you don't need right now. You heard him down there. It was clean. CSA charging on this side as well. Slamming into the far Union right. And CSA really kind of getting on the flanks of the Union team right now. CSA moving no flags forward as Union's going to hold this. Union kind of counter charging in the center there as well. And they're actually counter charging out in the woods right now. I mean, CSA doesn't have any down flags right now. Looks like they kept the one flag. Really, only one flag there. CSA also kind of pushing up the center, just putting pressure over here. CSA is very spread out. So, could be good and bad for the Union. Union's kind of spreading themselves out. They're really in two big blobs. Huzzah, huzzah. Yep, I got it. Hey, Seven, we probably don't want to cap, fire, but uh, we definitely fire, know to get seven. some kills here. Yeah, hey, oh, yeah, let's shoot him dead. Yeah, shoot Yankees, I love shooting Yankees. No. Dude, I shoot better when it's a target. Dude. I shoot better when it's a target. Oh, my God. And CSA putting pressure. It doesn't seem like they necessarily want to cap yet. Union is about to go down to engage. You see him pushing out in the distance over there. And so Union actually trying to keep the point. They want to keep that black timer going. Pace for CSA is slow, right? But uh, they picked it up last round. And the aggression on their part is kind of picking out. Union is pushing really far out on this side. They're, they're going all the way. Looks like they're starting to hold on the far side. So we've officially reached 15 minutes into the round. 12 minutes in the action. The rest of Union pouring down here, making sure they hold that point. Is that confederate to the left? And so CSA, they got to put the pressure. What the heck is you? They got to put, I mean, they're putting a sizable amount of pressure. They're not really trying too hard because they don't want to cap the point. But Union cooking down this far side right now. I don't think I've seen Union try to. I mean, there's no point in holding up here. It's not like Union gains any hey, severe man, advantage. They brought the fire crouch, 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 everyone crouch. But the CSA is kind of engaging them right now out, out here, which I don't know. I mean, if CSA wasn't one big blob, it'd be. They could do a lot more damage to one group on the point and kind of defeat Union in detail because Union spreading themselves out way too far. And TSA is not really playing into that right now. They're spreading themselves out a lot. So. Yeah. Fall back. Fall back. TSA, fall back. Push it back. Flag with me. Hold your position. Keep your kills. He's in the feet. But regardless, Union is going to go down to engage shortly. Uh, I mean, I've been saying that for probably the past few minutes, but it, for some reason still hasn't happened. All right, appreciate the help. But Union's holding pretty well so far. CSA, unless they unless they pick up this pace, they, they should really cap the point. Yes. Charge the creek! Charge the creek! Uh, 
That's, the, that's them right there. Shoot and stab. Oh. Shoot and stab. Come here. Come here. There they go. They finally Move go down, down the, the creek engage. to the left. Move down the creek to the left. So you do have some charging, some Union guys. These safe Connecticut guys getting sweeped up right now. Fourth New Jersey is kind of moving in. CSA looks like they're inching their way on this side. When we go to the point, it's going in CSA's favor as they kind of rebounded here. Looked like there was a little engagement skirmish there. Melee on the point. That Union won. And we'll see if Union charges out to try to hold this. And CSA pulling off, not really appearing to want to cap. This is so weird. I, I don't think I've seen any fighting up in this woods before. Voices, we outnumber them. Come on, baby. We Come need on, to go. baby. We yeah, load and hold. We need to go. Fries, 14 fries on the start. All right, let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See, so they're charging so in now. We so CSA charging in the Union, trying to push them out of the woods. Union flag looks like they got out of there. It's holding them all back. And. Oh no, CSA getting wiped, that flag bearer running forward, why is he still running forward, he doesn't realize he's still running forward, and he turns around. Mick Casey wants to fly at Mick Caskey. Yeah. CSA is wasting a lot of, what? They, what? I look away and they won that. Uh, wow. Angles are everything, I guess. Good push out on them. Union lost the fourth of the roster. Perspective is everything. See, that's just a good life lesson. So, fourth New Jersey's kind of push up here with Midwest Brigade as well. At least they do see one Midwest Brigade tag. Seventh LA up here as well. And Union trying to charge them out. They're going to hit CSA down to engage. So, Union does kind of wipe this out of the lay, but doesn't really gain any ground. You, I mean, you, you got a couple of CSA shooting on this far side, the 19th Georgia. They don't have a flag, so once those guys die, they're uh, not going to be near the guys for a while. So, you have actually some Union guys pushing over here. 8th Connecticut guys. The Cav having a shootout with the 19th, so... Little past 20 minutes into the round now. And CSA is not in a terrible spot, but got a good chunk coming in from Maine. First LAB is from up. I think you got this is probably 7th LA. Where did they go? There they are. Let them know over there, boys. Just keep doing your thing. So Union does kind of have an opportunity to wipe the CSA out of the uh, the point side here. It looks like they're pushing up on the woods on the left side, but for now they're just kind of sitting and shooting. To the left, break your reload, 8th Connecticut! As we could see, maybe 4th New Jersey felt bad. I know, it's a first Maryland guy. And you can see CSA in the distance starting to move down the hill. Oh. So you guys spawning back in after getting wiped, and they're trying to push back in again, which I don't know if I like the decision. Just charge him, boys. Just charge. Let's go. 
I mean, these charges are great for CSA. Even if CSA doesn't win them, it's just scattered guys dying in, uh, in skirmishing and online. Union on the other side doing this is smart. Pushing them out. Looks like their flag is down. And getting to this corner before the CSA can really push down. And again, because they wipe that group, they outnumber. He's reaching. Kramer, you're reaching. Kramer, you're reaching. Got him. Easy stuff, boys. Run back. All right, break your reload. Run back to the star, gentlemen. And, I mean, this this is just a really... Everything is so spread out this round. I mean, there's a couple things happening at the same time. It's a, it's a interesting thing. You normally don't see that with Schoolhouse. Normally, the sides move together. They don't spread out kind of in their own little groups because it's going to be very hard for CSA to now break through this side. But they do have some guys on the road here. The 19 of 1st South Carolina guys. I mean, 1st LAB. CSA is acting very... Dis not, disorganized isn't the word. Because all the groups are unified in what they're doing. They're just not working in one unified fashion. By that I mean bobbing up. Go, let's go. Hey, boys, get ready to shimmy. Get the hard cover. Retards, save your tickets. Get the hard cover. Come on. Let's go. Stop loading in the open. Let's go. He's just excited. You're not acting. So, yep, CSA, the 7th LA guys on the right falling back. They're just being completely outshot right now. I, I need a, I, oh, my God. Oh, gentlemen, Everybody, triple quick off into the creek bed right now. First LAB, let's move it, let's move it, let's move it. Oh, my God, for the mommy milkers. That's all. Hey, first LAB is moving up, starting to get into that creek, just inching closer. I mean, the, the big thing is probably Union would respond too, but... CSA definitely had numbers union over here. If CSA blobbed up and hit a flank, it could be masterful for them, but... The timing, or the time for CSA, it's, uh... It's getting a little concerning. 14th Tennessee going around the left, union falling back right away. Come on! These guys that yell really loud in the mic, it's it's beautiful, center by the way, but go, I wonder, the I hope they aren't in apartments. <laughs> Imagine being a neighbor to that. And they're falling back almost right away, so the Union team is almost unified. It looks like 7th LA... 20th George is back in it. South LA is somewhere in this direction, probably the group on the corner there. But I mean, this is how Union's going to win this. If CSA is going to play detailed, you got to band up together too. And I mean, CSA just looks. Very, I don't know. They're getting pushed back real hard on the creek side now, but they are getting a flank, and that's that's kind of the hard part with schoolhouse ridges. I mean, when you're hitting with a lot of different areas, uh, they're not powerful, but you'll be able to break through an area, and it might cause the defense to go a little crazy. Tickets are kind of evening up a little Pretty bit. Sure. How many CSA flags they got? One flag over here. Keep moving. Keep moving, boys. Keep moving. Let's go. Just clear out these moving out. So, boys. Confederate's starting to inch towards run. Union. Clear them out. Clear them out. Let's go. Clear them out. Oh, it is. Here it is, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's fascinating. They, they charge to try to get around the other side, and now they're just kind of shooting in weird spots. <laughs> Left. Here we go. Here we go. Here Union we go. moving down to the creek side is cover. Union actually shifting down the fence line as well. I mean, if they push the CSA out here and kind of hold this fence line, it'll be a very good spot for them. Get on to the right side. Get on the right fence, Sergeant. After your after your shot, 
go across the road and get on the other opposite fence. So Union's almost going to go down to taking losses here. And this is what I mean, right? Small CSA force is going to break through because the Uni team can't guard the whole time. 7th LA going that way right now. So Looks like Union's now charging up and starting to collapse on the CSA guys here. PSA not really good concern with the guys charging right to their left. And they're gonna. Oh wow, they don't push him out. I mean, they still got that flag spawning, guys. Again, perspective. And now, Fourth New Jersey is gonna charge in here. I will never let these colors TSA starting to fall back here. A couple of guys going. They're, they're going maybe a little late here. Uh, CSA looking a little confused. Some holding, some falling back. The union wants that flag. Good job. Yeah, it's a CSA guy. So CSA getting completely pushed back except for one man. Mick Gee. Misses stabs. How do you miss that stab? Yeah, there he goes. Oh, nice shot. So, outside of the corner here, which they do have a flag. Who is it? Some of the LA guys. So, they're holding down on the corner side. Holding that position for now. And Union is down to taking losses now. It's going to be a tight end. TSA not really going to cap the point before they hit breaking. I don't see it happening. And the big question is, can they win the charges? Union, I, I why? I, I hate this move. Sure, they're outnumbering the CSA by a fair amount, but you're putting yourselves really far forward when you don't need the ground. Force the CSA to come at you. Don't charge the CSA when you have less tickets and you're in a not bad position. Why? But they're they're pushing in. They wiped that first group. First LAB with their flag here. I mean, the ticket gap is definitely getting closer, and maybe this is the point of this charge here. But. My and they do, they do wipe and push the CSA back. So, their objective was complete. But, I don't know how beneficial it was, especially with tickets. Because, again, as a defenders, you want that black timer hitting zero. You don't want any reason to bring the tickets down. And, you're doing that by charging out there. If the union was ahead on tickets and trying to keep that pace up, I there's more justification there. Like, I don't like union holding out here. Hold back at the snake fence. Sure, you got some nice cover here, but they'll, they'll probably call back. Watch it. Northwest. Oh, yeah, we got to pull back. Yeah, pull it back. There you go. Okay. I can appreciate that. They're still holding up here. Just wiping small groups of CSA, which... I don't know why CSA is so spread out. Look west, look west, shoot them as they come. And some CSA starting to, yeah, 65th getting surrounded. 14th going in right now. Looks like they're gonna hold and engage close with Union forces. Get cover, get cover, get cover. 
cover, get hey, cover, get, get to the cover. outside, get to the outside. Let's go, let's go. Fences, fences, fences. Oh, Fuck them up, boys. I'm coming by. Let's go, aggress a reform, let's go. On the star. Behind you, catfish, behind you, catfish. No, 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 catfish, no. And so CSA kind of getting closer and closer to that point, really going for an engagement right oh, now. You get that flag up, and I mean, if CSA can pound up here, maybe hit the Union out of the woods here, I mean, they can get a nice surround on this point. Fifth Alabama for South Carolina, guys. Mr. Wicked. So there you go. CSA starting to move out of the woods right now. First LAB going back in, trying to make up for the lost charge earlier. And Union's going to hold that. You do have some 19th Georgia guys going around the side, but they're not going to do a whole lot on their own. Union destroying CSA holding there. They're kind of starting to envelop them. And it's only about a fourth of a morale stage difference right now. Down. Ooh, ooh. Oh, sauce. Damn it. It, it was, I, I spawned and it was yeah. down. So you're good, you're good, you're good. I just like flag. Break it left, you're going to push it up. Let's go 7th LA, break reloads, we're going left. 11 and a half minutes. Saw him CSA still holding in that creek. We saw him take that a little earlier. But, I mean, if I'm CSA, I don't even bother with that woods. I just push up the right side now. No point in trying to win this left side. You're not going to win it on your own. And you need to be one big team so that if Union does this, uh, you can beat them in these oh, charges. I got the nipple too. Cover down, gentlemen. Let's go. Straight ahead, charge them. Two companies in front of us. Charge Bayonet! Both your jerseys charging here. Shoot the staff! Shoot the staff! Seventh Tennessee pulling out. I don't know if they saw him or not, but it's it's a good time nonetheless to do that. Hey, watch it. Watch it to your left. Watch it to your left. Watch it to your left. Fourth New Jersey pursuing. Going in, all, which again, this is not smart. They're, they're gonna lose this. You you have a good shot of winning. You're killing that black time. Why are you charging the union? That, that does nothing for union. That hurts union. Because again, union is holding back. Your job is to defend. What do you gain by winning that charge there? I mean, you weren't gonna, but you might get some tickets, but anything, you just got wiped. You didn't gain any ground. Your team's in a worse spot. There's 10 minutes left on that clock, and you're in middle to high taking losses before that charge. It's a good spot to be in. It's not the best spot, but it's a good spot for the situation at hand. You can't, you can't be throwing tickets away like that. But it's up to the CSA now to see what they'll do. I, why are we... Uh, I think this is kind of pointless. Like, the big thing, right? If Union's going to send a regiment, a decent sized one at that, all the way over there. I mean, our numbers here are up to two or 260. Numbers are... 11. I mean... It's about a seven-man imbalance, infantry-wise, in favor of CSA. If there's going to be a seven-man imbalance and you're going to have a group of guys all the way up here and a couple scattered groups out here, Union could be beaten back by one big CSA blob if they, they hit this. It's just possible. And so these Union guys, Union's acting like they're on the offensive. Some of them are. I don't really like that. Sure, they're getting they're getting a lot of kills and they're holding fine, but unfortunately, that is not the objective. Oh, this is a very smart move. I have to say. I agree. And yeah, they're they're moving down from the woods. I like that. I I mean. No point going up there. CSA starting to push in the middle. 14th, Tennessee, 20th, Georgia. 
Getting in there right away. I love it. Starting to position themselves close to the point. They shouldn't cap. They should not cap. I mean, capping is okay. I think CSA has plenty of time to hit him in the breaking. And Union's getting up behind him. This will be a nice spot, but if CSA charges out, it's, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, no, they're charging. Oh, no. They're doing this by themselves. And that's going to be a chunk of tickets lost for Union here. Again, why charge in by yourself against the might of the CSA team? Oh, we're lagging a little here. More Union charging in. Union's playing real risky here. If they, if Union pushes them out here, they could proud and wipes the flags. They could. There's a good shot they could win the game. So it's very risky. I wish that that charge we saw here from the first Maryland guys would have been more coordinated with movement up here, but. Brace left, seven, brace left. So, I mean, I, th these, I think the CSA guys here should push up. I'm being very critical, but Union's starting to pull back on left side. I mean, they're still on point. They're just trying to preserve those tickets, but they're going to hit breaking. Is last stand in the question? I don't know. And there's artillery. We'll see when CSA charges. I mean, it'll, it'll be a big thing. When are they going in? Because right, you got to have first LEB up there. Looks like the CSA respawns who got wiped are moving in from main right now. Seventh. Come on, McGee. Holy shit, brother, you did it. Get that flag up, boys. Get that flag up. There we go. Yeah. Union pushing fight, back up boys. again. They're the going to hit breaking get relatively get soon. Get the fight. East, 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 east. Come on. Get on the cap. Yeah. It's, a, it's unfortunate now that first Maryland charge. I mean, CSA is all but back in the fight now. And they're starting to win point right now. You can hear up to the cap, up to the cap. CSA. Wanting just because great if CSA can cap the point here, it's going to force Union to charge you. I think that's a really big thing is putting yourself in situations that forces your opponent to charge. It was good artillery shot, but I have no idea what's going on. I'm a little bit panicked. I'm a little bit panicked. Somebody said from the Union side. Well, it ain't good. <laughs> CSA inching their way closer. Uh, whoever said that, I, I great. Hold, we're not done yet. Keep firing. We have not lost yet. We have not won yet, gentlemen. CSA hitting Union in the breaking. More CSA. Union trying to get around the side, which I, I don't know about that. Union is about to lose this point. Union now charging in, trying to win this point back. Is it going to happen? I don't think so, but we'll see. I mean, the Union in the distance barely won, and now they're starting to go down. CSA holding this point, and they have won the game. <laughs> that artillery in the slow mo, but yeah, I mean, again, uh, I just think that is with this uh, this event, it's just the round starts slow as it is. But really, this round was just everyone was very very spread out. Both sides were they. I don't know. I I really think that if one team blobs up and the other doesn't, you could take advantage of it. But good job to CSA. They dealt enough damage. Union was pushing really far forward in the woods, which was questionable, but. Uh, good two rounds tonight. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to support us on the channel, please go to our Patreon, which is in the description. Get live streams of all the broadcasts. You get instant access of all the recordings we do and not have to wait till the next morning. 
but you can also advertise your regiment on the bottom of our videos and get raw gameplay footage of all the events we cover with no commentary and UI. But we also got our Discord and merch in the description. But anyways, I appreciate you all being here. It means the world to have you all watching. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. We will see you in the next one.